What's up, everybody? You're welcome to the Switch Bit. So, I recently got the PlayStation VR, and I fell in love with Beat Saber. I actually played Beat Saber before at my buddy uh, Nice and Crispy's house. If you're familiar with Nice and Crispy, he's, you know, I got that long running little feature called Versus Crispy where we play a bunch of games against each other. Check it out if you haven't. Anyways, he's the one that got me into PSVR, and Beat Saber is one of the games I was like, most anticipating getting to play because you know it's a good workout it's awesome it's based it's like next gen rock band or guitar hero or whatever so it's really really cool i loved it and then beat saber announced a new mode 90 degree mode for psvr other things get a 360 degree mode but that probably wouldn't work with the chords on psvr so we get a 90 degree mode and that's what you're seeing right here if you're familiar with beat saber you know this looks different because different tracks are coming at you so typically you just have something coming straight at you and you just have to worry about hitting now you got to be looking around and making sure that you know nothing's gonna be coming at you from the side or whatever it gives you a little bit of warning with the, the track coloration and you actually have to turn your body you know a certain degree to hit them as they come in it definitely adds a whole lot of value to the game it definitely adds a whole lot of replayability to the game because it's like basically going from 2d to 3d going from a flat plane to an open plane it's that big of a jump and uh, it almost makes it kind of hard to go back to the older uh, style of it you know but here in a second I'll kind of show you why you still need the older style and kind of what the limitations are so if you check right here 90 degree mode you cannot move. It's easy. It's it's set to whatever that song is. There are, I think there's only a couple songs. One for sure that I found, where you can change the difficulty level on 90 degree mode. So, whatever it's listed, you can't change it. That's this is hard mode only. So that's kind of the limitation. I can't do expert mode on 90 degree. I you know I can barely do it on the regular. So these 90 degree songs that are expert expert plus, you know. They're kind of useless to me. I can't do them uh, until I get better. So you still have to go and practice and play on a regular kind of versions or whatever. But just the, I mean, you can take a look right here. I'm going to kind of let it, look at that. It's just coming all at you. Freaking awesome. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of breath. You hear that? Dang. <laughs> I need to lay out the cheeseburgers. All right. So in comparison, same song. In regular mode it seems so basic and simple now like honestly it's still fun it's still a good workout it's still awesome but when things are just coming at you straight ahead it's not nearly as engaging when everything's coming at you Yeah, I mean, I guess that's uh, that's about it. I just want to give a quick little uh, video kind of showing the differences and what the limitations were. I do hope that they allow a little more customization, allow you to change the uh, difficulty level because easy is too easy. There's some really cool songs that I would like to play, like on hard in 90 degree mode and expert and stuff. That's just going to turn off newer players, but they've been uh, supporting this game pretty well. So I bet that there's going to be some more options in the future for that. Just got to wait for it while they continue to support it. Definitely a cool feature. Definitely a really welcome update. If you haven't played the game, this will definitely reinvigorate it for a while, make it more fresh. And uh, if you haven't played the game, what are you waiting for? Do you have a PSVR? You need to play this game for real. It's so cool. Anyways, happy hunting, everybody. Subscribe. Follow all that stuff. Bye!